Here we have a bolt inside a glass bottle, and it's not clear how it came to be inside. Mystery. And our task is to free the entire structure to get the $100 bill that's inside this bot. Today we will also solve uh, this one, and I will show you some techniques to solve very complex puzzles. But we will start from a simpler one. This puzzle is called a ring, because it's a ring. But it's not as simple as it seems. By the way, the level of difficulty is a 1 out of 10. But many people cannot solve it from the first try. It's really a metal ring that has uh, these symbols on it, like it's supposed uh, to separate somehow. And this ring really consists of two identical metal parts. Ok, lie here and wait, we will get to you. I want that 100 bucks. The paradox of this puzzle and its complexity is that it is impossible to connect these parts into a single ring. I don't know why, but as you can see, this is the problem we face here. On this side, the ring splits diagonally, and it seems uh, it has to be connected um, from the other side. That is like this. There's even a magnet holding it all. But the puzzle and its shape dictate a way of solving that doesn't give us uh, the result we need. In general, you can try for a long time to do this by putting together the parts in some strange way, but in the end they <laughs> will be located not the way we need them. But there's a little secret, and this secret I used to solve a lot of puzzles. If you can't solve it in one direction, you have to try completely different way of solving. Absolutely different. Let's think about it. In order to connect these two pieces here, they have to meet like this. This is how the magnets will connect. So we have to turn the parts like this. We lift one from the bottom and the other from the top, and that's how they connect. But this puzzle carving makes us move in a different way. And we need to move against the carving. And not always what seems to be the beginning is really a beginning. Maybe this is the end. Now you will understand what I'm talking about. Let's try to connect these parts not from the edges, but from the middle. This is uh, the way to start. It already looks like something is wrong. But here we see the carving of two parts entering one into the other. Chicks! Yeah, the puzzle is solved. All we had to do was rotate the carving from the middle not from its beginning. This is how the direction of the parts changes, and we connect it. This puzzle was really easy, and we're moving on to the next one. Honestly, I don't even know what it's called, but it's pretty cool. So we have a box like this, and such a box you can put a lot of things. But in our case, I need to put in it these blocks. Each of them has different uh, length, there are no identical ones. And each one has uh, this slice of uh, 45 degrees. Which means we can combine uh, two parts uh, somehow like this. We can also use uh, these uh, 45 degree cuts to find a solution to this puzzle. I, uh, like uh, many who solves uh, this puzzle first time, we'll try to find ways to fill this box uh, so that we have as little free space as possible. Well, I'm gonna put these pieces together like this and uh, find uh, right matches, for example. And uh, in order for us to have no free space here, I'll uh, be picking up parts uh, that are a little bigger or a little smaller. So, I'm looking for an option where uh, we fill the most uh, space. And uh, with other details, I do something uh, similar uh, to this, for example. Why not? And uh, there are the last two, but, as always, this is uh, the wrong solution. But folks, I want to say that the right solution exists. 
and uh, the first thing to do is to think outside the box. Look, this form of details, like in the previous puzzle, kind of dictates uh, the rules for solving this puzzle. It's uh, as if we need to put them uh, like this, horizontal blocks, like this, but no, it's not the right way. So these details are tricky, but we could try using these slices a bit differently. For example, connecting the two corners of the parts inside the corner of the box. This is also looks interesting, but spoiler, this will not help us to solve the puzzle. So guys, if we think about it a little bit more, we will find another position. This corner can be placed not connected with another such corner. For example, guys, it can lean directly against uh, the side of the box, like this. Do you want to ask where the logic is? I say this way. You can put more parts into a small space. But uh, even this option that I show you is not the most correct. As you can see, just by placing one item in a non-standard way, we have an infinite number of options for placing parts inside, even diagonally, and this diagonal position will be our starting point. The secret of the puzzle is very simple. We have to place two blocks diagonally, then we have two smaller ones, we can put them here, then uh, there are two middle of the range ones, which also fit perfectly, and you will not believe, but this is the right solution to this puzzle. That's how we're doing it. As you can see, unconventional thinking helps solve even seemingly impossible problems we can say that we have reached the boss of our video, because this puzzle looks incredibly complicated. There is no need to look for any secrets, it is difficult even to understand how this whole construction was done. My god, we have here a glass bottle, it's really, really a glass bottle. I think that uh, there was something inside of it, uh, it doesn't matter now. We also have a wooden stick like this, with a hole inside, in which a metal bolt is inserted with a nut on it. I think you can see it, but how did they do it inside the bottle? I know there are also ship inside the bottle, but there is a certain technology of constructing them inside the bottle. But twisting a nut on the bolt like this inside the bottle? <laughs> I don't even know how it's possible. And this puzzle is so complicated that it offers us a price. One hundred dollars. The real Bill, the one who solves this puzzle, gets one hundred dollars. And now I'm going to try to do it. Of course, guys, I understand that any way to solve the puzzle is appropriate. But uh, this time we will try to solve it honestly. So we have a bolt, a nut, a piece of wood, a $100 price, and a glass bottle. It's clear that we need somehow unscrew the nut. If uh, we unscrew the nut, then we pull the bolt from the wood, then uh, the stick will go freely through the narrow neck of the bottle. And then we can easily take everything from the inside. But how do we do that? We have no tools no wrenches, no, we have even no magnets, although I doubt magnets would help here. But we'll try to solve it somehow. I know that a lot of puzzles can be solved uh, just by somehow spinning them or shaking, but here the nut is very tight on the bolt, and even if I spin the bottle in some way very hard, the nut won't move, and that's the problem. We could also try using uh, the bottle walls to spin the bolt, but uh, that wouldn't help us. Could you guys guess the right solution? The right decision is to use the price that is inside. Yes, you didn't miss here. It is this $100. It's a banknote twisted into a straw and 
it will be the tool to solve this puzzle. Because, yeah, paper may be a fragile material, but uh, when twisted into a straw, it has a certain hardness. You guys uh, can try twisting any bill into a straw and uh, it will become solid and hard, almost like wood. Well, let's try to unscrew the nut using that $100 bill. We need to somehow do it. Unscrew the nut. We're clinging uh, to the edge. As you can see, the density of a $100 bill is enough to spin the bolt. But notice, when the bolt spins, the nut spins too. Look, I twist the bolt and the nut spins with it, which means it doesn't come off the thread. In order for this to work, we need to rotate from both sides, fix uh, the bolt somehow and unwind the nut, or uh, vice versa. Well, it's easy enough to solve. I think that uh, if we put the bolt uh, inside the bottle like this, it will stick against uh, the wood uh, with its carving. This way the wood itself will fix it. And we will just have to turn the nut. Let's try to do that. For some reason this bow here is really bothering me. We need to somehow unwind the nut. The nut rotates in this direction. So let's try. It's very difficult to find the right position. Now look, it's working. I twist the nut, bolt hold uh, the wood uh, with its thread, and the nut starts spinning very slowly, only millimeters. It's even invisible that it moves. But I'm sure that in a few minutes we will see quite a big change in this whole construction. The nut will be moving away from the base uh, of the stick. And this way, I hope we will unwind it. Yeah, it's hard. But $100 really motivates me. One problem, I think I've been spinning it all this time and I need to spin it in the other direction. Damn, I'm an idiot. Come on, spin around. Watch closely. Yes! God! Oh, the nut though very slowly, but spinning. The nut is slowly gets off the bolt. Here the main thing is not to rush, because everything can fall apart like this. I twist the nut with the help of a paper bill. The bolt inside the bottle holds with the help of a thread. The thread clinches at the hole in the wooden part and it doesn't let the bolt spin. And I turn the nut with a hundred dollar bill. My god, I want to do it faster. We've got so close, look. Only a few millimeters to go. It really works. I'm so close. I almost sold it. My god, this puzzle did look just impossible. <gasps> yeah, that's it. The nut is off the bolt, but now I have to take the bolt off. I think uh, there should be enough space inside the bottle to just uh, pop out uh, the wood. Yeah, and now there's nothing stopping us from getting a piece of wood, $100 prize and our nut with a bolt. Look, it's just a bottle. Just a bottle, just a bolt and just a nut. Just a piece of wood and a real $100 bill. Probably now is the most pleasant moment of this video. And here we have a real $100. But that's not all. There is some note here. Hmm. Well, give me a few seconds to enjoy this crisp nice bill, which I will definitely take as a prize for solving this puzzle. And for you guys, I will now read what was in the note. Huh, subscribe. It's real. I told you, 